Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to use Multiman to back up one of our PS3 discs to our PS3 internal hard drive. Uh, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. I will leave a link in the description for this here. You can go ahead and download it. We're going to download Multiman Base uh, 4.8501. It is a older version, but it does support the current PS3 firmware or custom firmware. As you can see up here, it has no issues. It'll just uh, show firmware 4.75. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. We'll go ahead and download it. And once you do have it downloaded, it will download into a package file. We're just going to go ahead and open up our USB drive. And we're just going to drag it over or copy it over to the root of our USB drive. Shouldn't take too long. It's only like 35 megabytes. And once that is done, we will uh, go ahead and unplug that and jump over to our PS3. Okay, so once we do have our PS3 on, we can go ahead and plug in our USB drive. And we'll go over to Package Manager. Install Package Files, and we'll go to Standard. And we should see our Multiman there. We'll go ahead and select it. And we'll give it a few moments to install. As you can see, it is going pretty quick. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit circle, and you should see multi-man in the options. We'll go ahead and select it. Okay, and we'll give it a few moments here just to get booted up. Okay, and it's at applying the theme now. Okay, so everything is installed. I do have a few on my internal, but let's go ahead and just confirm that we are on the latest version. We can go to update. And as long as you're connected to the internet, it should come up. Hit okay. And you can see that we there is no need to update because we have the latest version. So we can go ahead and hit R1. And I'll just switch the, the look. And this is the one that we'll be going to. It should automatically start downloading covers. As long as you're connected to the internet. But let's go ahead and insert a disk of the game that we want to copy to our internal drive. I'm going to be doing Star Wars, the complete saga, the Lego edition. And once it's inserted, we can go ahead and it should come right up there. And there we go. So we can go ahead and hit square for game options. And then we're going to go ahead and hit X on copy. And then from here, you can see that we can do it to the flash drive or the hard drive. Um, but we're going to go with the internal drive. So we'll go ahead and select X. And do you want to copy to the internal? We'll say yes. Okay, so we can see that it's 5 gigs. It's going to take a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. Okay, so we just finished up there. We can go ahead and hit square. And you can see that we do have the game over here. It does show the icon on the bottom right as disk drive, the internal drive. If we go up to the other one, you can see that it is actually a disk. So we'll go ahead and select it. And we'll give it a few minutes here just to reboot. Okay, and if we scroll up, you can see that it does come up. And we can go ahead and select it. And we'll give it a few moments here. It will launch. Okay, and there is an update. You can take the update if you want, but we're just going to go ahead and hit circle. And there you go. That is it for the video. If you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.